717. Turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up, truckers across the nation. Yeah, yeah. Peter Bills, left lane trucking, I see you. Freightliners, Bobos, I see you. Kenworth, Max, I see you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get to it today. Let's get it. A good woman scans to us. What's up, YouTube, Facebook? This is Jay, uh, Trucker717, and uh, we're still partying in 717. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's getting kind of uh, far in between between the new videos. Uh, staying busy out here on uh, uh, this Tyson dedicated account. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, a lot of guys ask me from time to time about it. Uh, <clears throat> so far, I, I, I really, I really enjoying it. Um, I'm really enjoying the uh, same pay for empty or loaded miles, and I'm really enjoying the fact that uh, I have two plants in Virginia that I can get routed to when I'm getting home. And I think that's like one of the most important things to switching over to this account was that uh, when it's time for me to go home. Um, it's easy to get routed home and uh, left dead head miles for me, which is a good thing. Uh, home time is good. All right, there, there's a lot going on. Uh, let's start out by, um, uh, let's talk about it. Uh, <clears throat> they're talking about owner operators, carriers, re um, basically what they were trying to say with, uh, with this is that, um, they're starting to reward uh, carriers for having safety features. Uh, that's what DOT is trying to do. Uh, I guess if you put in um, the little on guard system or whatever safety features, um, then it's going to uh, reduce your CSA scores. Uh, it's a good thing for safety, but a lot of the smaller companies and smaller owner operators are saying, hey, that's kind of a disadvantage. We can't afford to put. Uh, uh, the expensive equipment in our uh, trucks, so that's one of the things that they're uh, talking about um, that um, they're trying to do. Uh, what else is going on in the news? What else is going on in the news? Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of guys, uh, if you own a truck, uh, uh, before the year 2000, like uh, 1990 or whatever, you don't have to come over to the mandated electronic logs. Well, there's two major ports uh, in New York and New Jersey that is not allowing older trucks who don't have the, uh, the pollution control, like a 94 or 95 uh, truck, they're not allowing it into their ports. So that's something you want to keep in mind uh, when you're trying to get by the, uh, the electronic logging mandate. And, um, you know, I, I know a lot of guys are probably like, hey, I don't want it. I'm not, I'm not going to jump over to it. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I've kind of grown used to the electronic logging. Uh, one of the benefits to it, and, you know, I, I know there's probably a lot of uh, things that people would say is not a benefit to it, but you don't have to send in your logs every week. <laughs> That is that is kind of nice, uh, you know. With uh, the short time I was on electronic logs, uh, sending those logs was a pain in the butt. <laughs> but uh, you don't have to send those in every week. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, that's something you want to keep in mind. Um, one of the things that uh, they're talking about, um, I don't want to say XPO logistics got caught with the pants down, but. <laughs> Um, they're being sued. Uh, basically, they're being sued uh, for misclassifying their drivers. Uh, and this is kind of something that a lot of other companies were sued. I think FedEx might have been sued for it. But basically what they're doing is like um, the guys who are doing local runs and running uh, within a 100 mile radius, uh, they're classifying a lot of those as independent contracts. Well, a lot of those, uh, a lot of companies and states and stuff are looking at the laws and, you know, it, it's like I tell everybody when, when you're dealing with business, taxes and stuff, it's all about what 
they classify, not what you think, you know. Uh, I, I tell people all the time, you got a business license, you're a business owner. <laughs> That's how the IRS classifies you. So you can say whatever you want to say, you're a business owner. Um, one of the things they're, tr they're, they're looking at and they're classifying, they're saying, hey, you can't classify these guys as independent contractors. Uh, they fall under the regular uh, hourly wage and what that comes with, and a lot of people don't realize, when you become an independent contractor, you get out of a lot of employment laws like the minimum wage. Uh, as a, a, a company driver and uh, um, on hourly salary, you're required to get minimum wage. So that's what they got sued for. Independent contractors weren't getting minimum wage for certain uh, you know, orientations or whatever. And uh, they're saying, no, you can't do that. So XPO Logistics is saying, hey, we're fighting it because these guys are independent contractors. I mean, they're owner operators running uh, local routes, uh, running inner modules, containers, or tankers, or whatever. So that's one of the things they're talking about. Um, this new autonomous truck, uh, they came up with a video. It's a real nice video. If I can get my internet up and working, uh, we're going to take a look at this. But uh, uh, this is kind of neat. Uh, let's take a look at this. All right.
All right, um, that was a pretty good. Uh, that was a pretty good video on uh, the autonomous truck, and you'll notice that uh, the truck was driving by itself. The guy didn't have his hands on the wheel. Um, they got uh, a, a, another video of a Mercedes truck. It's a little different than the Freightliner and stuff, but uh, it, uh, the the guy actually is able to uh, go back in the seat. So let's take a look at this video as well. I think it would be a good one. Okay, YouTube, Facebook. Um, I guess the, the autonomous truck is supposed to be out in 2025. Uh, so um, that second one, the Mercedes, uh, <laughs> where the seat goes back, uh, that kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> I could see, I, I just could see uh, 
somebody falling asleep in their chair. And then the truck is saying, take control, and the guy's back there just knocked out. So I don't know. Hey, you guys let me know what you think about this new autonomous truck. Again, uh, I, like I said in my previous video, I think it's going to be no different than an addition to uh, the regular cruise control that we have, which controls the speed and braking. Uh, but it's just going to control the steering in specific situations. Again, uh, they have no no idea of trying to put truckers out of trucks. So this is just an extra safety addition uh, for those long rides, you know, like to California where there's wide open roads. And it would be nice to sit back and relax a little bit. Um, <clears throat> But uh, that's basically all I got for you today. Hey, guys, keep pushing out there. Uh, be safe. It is uh, getting, uh, it's winter now. Not getting, it is winter. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of areas where there's going to run into a lot of snow. Uh, slow down, man. Um, it's not worth it. Uh, is your life, as I've always said, and, and a lot of older truckers will tell you, uh, no freight's worth your life. Uh, be safe out there slow it down uh, don't don't be afraid to call uh, your dispatcher and tell him that you're gonna be late because of traffic or that you cannot get on the road because of bad weather condition so but again this is J trucker 717 piece somebody here I got freight to